very quick explanation of life, death, animals, human beings, plants, rainbows, colors, inverted rainbows, color spectrums, death, reincarnation, vibrational level, spirituality, and humanity. Okay, plants, they stay stationary. They die when people cut them. They grow back when people plant them and love them. When you show them more love, they grow better. When you show them pollution and grossness, they die. Next. And they keep reproducing and flourishing as much as they possibly can. Next. Animals will go with a vicious animal, something that attacks until it's killed. It is ground. It's not grounded. It's usually something flighty. A mosquito. We'll use a mosquito. Okay, and it will we'll say... It only attacks, it only wants, it feeds, it dies when killed, or quick death. It just multiplies and multiplies and multiplies as much as it can, senselessly. Birds, nature, bigger birds, littler birds, bigger animals, uh, attacks you viciously. As, it, it, as you kill it, and it dies slowly, it goes back wounded. Sometimes it'll be shown love and brought back to health, and it'll attack again. And it'll be grounded again, wanting, needing help, dying. As it dies, it becomes enlightened. Until it dies. Until the moment of when it has to make that final judgment of it's dying or not. Or it's done wrong, or it shouldn't have done something, or what is it done. You know, that's the moment where it turns its life around and looks at it the other way, of what it should have done in the right way. That goes with for animals, human beings. You go through your whole life senselessly, wanting, wanting, wanting. The lower three chakra color spectrum, we're using those as examples. Those colors are great colors, but usually those are rooted. I've always said red because I was like the deep-rooted person. Well, guess what? That's what came my first open chakra that explained it to me. I mean, I'm using that as one of our methods of understanding the system. I know that's just one way of understanding, and that's not completely it, but that'll never be completely it, and we'll never be able to put in a complete word, so all I'm doing is trying to relay it the best I can. So a human being goes through their life senselessly, going through their life, their whole life, just taking, 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 killing if it needs to, and at the moment that, that it gets sick or dies, maybe it's nursed, somebody still shows it compassion, because there's still that longingness of higher understanding which comes towards death, and when they die, they are enlightened to the degree of how much they understood before they died. Say you suddenly die and you're low vibrational, you come back below vibrational. Depending on how low vibrational, maybe you'll be a plant or animal to understand it a little better. Maybe on a higher vibrational, you come back as a bird or something to understand it better in that way. There's different vibrational levels that you come back and reincarnate. The colors... <laughs> Hopefully this is still going, I think so. The colors explain, but at the same time, it's, it's a way that we can use to communicate it to each other. There's never going to be a complete explanation. I have to be Dan Alexander and go to work now after I just came back from a very enlightened moment where I saw so many cycles of death and reincarnation and how I could explain it to people. But then I have uh, three minutes and 43 seconds of trying to explain what I just saw that seemed like it took lifetimes, so I, I can't expect anyone to, to really take that seriously or, or even understand anything about what I'm talking about, but hopefully someday people will, and they'll want to know how they can feel that way too, because I can express it to other people, and we can learn this, and all I know is that great things are going to happen, and are happening, and we just got to keep focusing on the good. I love you guys. Peace.